Hey guys, this is JT Nortel. Sorry I haven't made any uh, fire alarm videos lately. I um, Actually the quick start had a CPU fault so it was out of commission for a while and I've had to um, get a replacement for that. Um, I have this, still have the uh, quick start but I had to get a new uh, CPU uh, for it. So it's back up and running. Um, I just haven't put it back up in the attic system yet. But I did want to show you uh, something else new that I got. The um, Firelight Fire Command 2550X. So I just got it out of the box. This is going to be the new Voice Evac um, panel. So it's pretty much full featured. It's got amps built in um, up to 50 watts. It's got the page feature built in, uh, manually vac. So I'll show you inside real quick. Of course, it's got a dress plate, but I've got that taken off for now for the video. Um, the label's blank. So there's the power supply card on the left, and then the message boards on the bottom, two of them, and then two amps there on top. And then the controls over here and the paging microphone. So before I overwrite the message that's in here, I'll play it so you guys can hear what was on there. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the... Well, let me start that again. Attention, please. The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. So that's the message that was built in. Um, you can see if you push it up, you've got the manual evac, which is going to play the message. Uh, center position is standard, and then if you pull the switch down, you have the message override. So I could interrupt the message if I wanted to. The page uh, microphone, it does work. You can hear the relays click when you check, check, one, two, check, 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 one, two, one, two. So that's a nice feature that's added. Uh, the biggest thing was that the amplification was built into the system, and it's also on a battery backup. Um, so it's a much more, um, much more of a life safety system than the setup that I had before. Because if there was a power failure in the last setup, the um, ELK card would not work. So you would just have the strobes, and you'd have no message. So. Anyway, I think it'll work well in the system. Let me know what you guys think. And I will be programming a new message into it here and hopefully make a video of that uh, in a little bit. All right, thanks. See ya.